post conference opener today, uh, back and forth battle tonight. Did you expect anything different coming into that conference opener? Not in conference play. We know that any given day, any team can beat anybody. Um, Lipscomb has always been a very feisty team. Uh, they shoot the three ball well. Uh, we went into the game. Uh, just aware of the three ball. I thought we did a good job guarding it. Uh, but I was just proud of our team's fight tonight. Ariane, what did you see out of Lips coming tonight, both offensively and defensively, that made it a uh, back and forth kind of grinded out game? I mean, this that's every game. It's, I feel like conference play is going to be like that every game. So it, it's a good win, so we'll take it. Coach, uh, that third quarter, you guys outscored them 21-10. I thought that was a turning point in the game. What, what was so different about that quarter than the first half? Well, we came out, we, we went in, you know, uh, halftime down nine, I believe, um, and really just talked about us playing our game, uh, and we really focused on it's about us, um, not about what they were doing to us necessarily, because we got the shots we wanted, um, and we just weren't hitting, but we weren't creating second chance opportunities. So we talked a lot about that. I thought Jasmine Callister came through uh, with some big offensive rebounds at the end. Ariane, 23 points, uh, 24 shots. Just talk about um, your game tonight, what you saw on the floor. Was it kind of like what, you, what the game was taking, given to you? I mean, coach told me to keep shooting, so I was going to keep shooting. Um, they didn't all fall, but the looks were still there. So mm -hmm. eventually, Something's got to go in. <laughs> Coach, you talked about uh, talk with me about balance scoring before in the past, and you guys had three in double figure scoring, including her 23. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys had 15 assists to, t to 10 turnovers. Just talk about your offensive game tonight. I thought it was a, a big thing for us to have 15 assists and only 10 turnovers tonight. Um, and then again, you know, this is a win without uh, Kelly Dukowski hitting a three. Um, which is, you know, I just said after the game that, you know, everybody didn't have their best game, but as a team, uh, I feel like we can beat anybody if we all put our mind to it. And so, you know, Jazz came through big, six for seven. Uh, Clara Young, I think she's doing an excellent job at the point guard position. Uh, she led the way with those five assists and only two turnovers. And even with Kelly shooting, she had five assists and zero turnovers. So I, I really felt like, you know, we figured out the next thing we could do if our primary thing wasn't happening. 31 three-point attempts tonight. Only made six of them, but I think I think those six were key um, shots that were made at key moments in the game. Just talk about, was that part of the game plan? The uh, outside shooting? Yes, it all No. Um, that's probably most threes we've taken um, since I've been the coach here. Um, you know, my philosophy is inside out. Uh, you know, but, you know, when Arion Smith is open and Kelly Dukowski is open, for Kelly to even get eight attempts from the three, you know, I expect him to take those shots. Um, and that's, you know, primarily what the zone is for you to do, uh, to take threes. But I just feel like we, we have some guards that can really shoot it. So, you know, I don't, if we had to play this game all over again, I don't think we would shoot that poor percentage. But they were timing the threes. They were when we needed them. Arion, in a close game like this, what's... What do you think is the key moments or key things to, to get the win in, in a back and forth kind of game like this? Um, just staying together. Like when Lipscomb made their run, I feel like we stayed together. And whereas in the past, pre-conference play, uh, we were kind of trying to make things happen on our own. And I feel like we did a good job of staying together. Today. You guys were up 52 to 45, I believe, and mm -hmm. they came back to tie it up. But you guys still. So mm -hmm. together, is that what you're talking yes. about right there? Yes, we sustained the, the, uh, their run. So. Coach 1-0 in conference play, uh, what do you got to do? You go back on the road next weekend to Jacksonville. Um, what, do you, what are you taking this to carry on for next weekend? I think just that fight in that heart. Um, it was the end of the game. Eric came up with a huge rebound. Uh, Jazz McAllister came up with a huge rebound. Uh, DeAndre Soares came with a, up with a huge rebound. Just that will to win in that heart. Um, is what we want to carry to the next game because I do believe every conference game is going to be a grind. And I think, you know, now we're figuring out, hey, we know how to grind it out. And so that's what's going to be on the road. Winning on the road is very difficult, or I should say more of a challenge. And so for us, you know, just having that right mindset going on the road is going to be important. Thank you, guys.